Hello guys, I'm here recording another video and I have you far away from the camera so I have my microphone here which is just my phone and that's what I'll be using for this video. It doesn't sound that good, I think, the, the microphone, but it's okay. So today in this video we're going to be talking about um, something uh, something spooky, a little spooky, you know. I'm over here in uh, the Lost Lands, you know, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's a few people here. Uh, there's one, two, three. There's like three people kind of close here. Uh, but in general, there's, there's just nowhere. We're just in the middle of nowhere. There's no, there's no water pipelines. There's no sewer pipelines. There's no electricity like that you can automatically just connect to. We do have electricity now. Uh, we recently got it probably like two months ago. We had to contact this guy on Facebook. Uh, he helped us. We uh, met, met up with him on uh, Home Depot. And we bought all the parts. Uh, he helped us uh, build the lightning post, uh, not the lightning post, the the, the electricity post. And then uh, we called Encore, and they came and connected everything. Because uh, over here we don't have a house. We actually live in an RV. So, so in this video, basically, I'm going to explain to you guys a little backstory first before I get to the creepy part. A backstory of uh, what's happening right now. In my life, I haven't told you guys at all. I kind of like keep everything kind of like down low, kind of secret. But this time I'm going to open myself up and tell you guys what's happening. It's been, it's already been like six months since I've uh, been here. I think somewhere around that. Uh, since the last school year. Right now I'm in 11th grade. I've been here since 10th grade. I don't live in the same house anymore. We sold the house. I've lived in that same house for 13 years. Ever since I was three, we finally sold it. A uh, reason for that was because my parents uh, divorced. They're not together anymore. We thought it was just better for, uh, for the whole family if they just divorced because they were just getting into arguments uh, or they weren't really talking much to each other anymore. So yeah, and you know, having arguments in front of your kids is just in general not good for uh, their mentality or anybody's mentality. That house was just getting a bunch of energy stored up into it. There's just too much of a concentration of energy. Now I live separately. I live one week with my mom, one week with my dad. Uh, my mom has an apartment. Uh, my dad tried to find a house, but they didn't let him because he, he left his job after working there for 10 years. Uh, reason being was that he he was kind of, he was worried about his health. And also there's just this supervisor that was just super mean. Mean supervisor every day, always trying to pick on him. I mean, he could he could take it, like, but it's just like the health. His health was like getting a little bit lower. So it's just kind of harder. So he decided to leave. Um, let me check if this is recording. Okay, we're still good. Okay, so he left his job. Uh, he's made up money off of crypto now, trading. And uh, we got this RV here. We've we had a generator for like the first like three months or so. Because there was no electricity then until we got the electricity post. That's how we got it. Okay, now get now let's get to the creepy part. So, we have a couch in there. We have like a big long couch. And then we also have a, a kitchen kind of couch. We have like a couch here and then a table and then a couch over here. And both of those can turn into beds. So, I sleep on one of those and my dad slept on the other one. And randomly, uh, randomly in the night... There would be this light, that this light that came near my window almost at 12 or 1 a.m. every time. And the first time it came, it really just scared me because, like, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and this light all of a sudden comes out, and I can hear a high-frequency noise in my ear going in through this one and coming out through the other one. I can feel it. I don't know what, like, what to think of that. I was in shock. I was about to fall asleep. This light always comes when I, I was about to fall asleep, but I'm I still, like, wasn't fully asleep yet. And every time before it comes, I always felt weird before it came. The, the only thing I can think of that is, like, some weird um, being or alien or I don't know what to say, something intelligent that comes here. I had to deal with that. Let me check if the camera's recording real quick.
Okay, I just checked my camera. We got a low battery. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this uh, through. So I told after a few minutes of being in a state of shock, I told I finally woke my dad up, and I told him about the light, and he was like, "There's a light." And he, he reacted that way because after a few days, I asked him and he said he's seen it before too. And uh, my tío also seen it because my tío helped us uh, uh, move the RV over here because the truck we have is uh, wasn't powerful enough. And he slept over here once. And he also saw a light because he told my dad, um, but my dad didn't believe him. So when I told my dad about the light again, that's when he kind of like connected the dots. A week passes by, uh, my dad seen the light again. Uh, I'm in my mom's apartment. I come back. I see the light come back again. It's just like, it's just like, that's how it looks like. And it's kind of scary. But my dad's always like sleeping, like, like just super, super just, you know, if I have to wake him up and tell him that the light is here, he always misses it. Yeah. So we set up cameras hoping to capture something. It's kind of weird because as soon as we set up cameras, it never came back and we never captured anything. We waited for freaking days and weeks, even right now, months, it, ha it has not come back. So it's, I swear it's like intelligent, something intelligent. I don't know what it was. It, was, it felt like it was scanning me. It felt like it was a light that goes through walls or something and it scans me. That's the only logical thing I can think of. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you guys experienced any, anything like that? Um, and another thing is that there's this land over here we are next to that's not by that's not for sale. But uh, one one time I was being uh, in this corner over here, and I always be here every day, like every morning, right? And this time I woke up this morning. I I went up to pee here. I saw something move in the corner of my eye, and I heard something move in the corner of my. Eye. It sounded kind of kind of kind of sounded like a dog. It sounded like, <laughs> that's what it sounded like. But it was not a dog, because what I saw from my corner of my eye was just like this big, huge animal. At first, I thought it was just my imagination. But no, that was just me tricking myself into believing that it was something I didn't see. But it was something that I did see. Because a few days after, I discovered that my dad had seen it too. And when I asked him about it, because he said he, he thought he saw something through the window one time. I told him what I saw. And that's when he told me that he's actually seen that uh, weird bear thing before i only saw it once it's like this big huge bear like prehistoric bear though is like different and it just like kind of ran across i could hear like rumbling the grass and also making like weird dog noises <sighs> and then but then when i finished peeing and i looked around i didn't see i didn't see it anymore it, was, it just disappeared into nothing and there's no way it could run away that quickly because there's a bunch of trees there it just, there's no way uh, and then Probably like a few few weeks pass by, maybe a month, two months. He tells me that he's seen it uh, closer before, because most of the time we see it from the corner of our eyes. He's actually seen it with like the actual eyesight, and he saw that he said that it looked kind of like a hologram, kind of like weird. Just, that just makes me think that it's something from not this uh, plane or dimension, third dimension, and it just kind of appears and it disappears. And I haven't seen it recently or anything. Um, but yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. Ever since I came to this land, I feel like uh, I've grown in like spiritual um, knowledge. I don't know how. I just felt like I've grown. Okay, my camera stopped recording. So... But that was basically all I had to say. So yeah, I, see, uh, I hope you guys have a, a wonderful, blessed day. Good week, good month, good year. And I love y'all. See ya. Oh, look, the, the, light, the light would come from here. Look at how tall this is. It's pretty high up. And the light would come from that window right there. I would see it from that window. So we came over here to set up the camera. Right here, this is the camera we set up so I can capture the whatever comes and see what 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 it is, but it never came, so.